video today I thought that I would film my top favourite nude and pink lipsticks. Um, nude and pink are like the main colours that I wear all the time. I don't really go for bright colours or dark colours or reds or anything like that. So I thought that I would show you guys my top favourite nudes and pinks. And most of these are drugstore. Um, if you live in the States or whatever, these would be considered drugstore. There are some higher end um, lipsticks as well, but most of them are drugstore. Um, well, actually, I think there's only one high end lipstick, but anyways, so I am going to be filming probably an updated version of this in the future if you guys want because I'm planning on buying a few um, nudes and pinks from brands like e.l.f. and NYX that I haven't tried out yet, but for now, these are my favourites and they're ones that I always reach for and that I would repurchase again. So yeah, let's just get started. The first one is something that I don't actually have with me because it melted and broke and that was ages ago and I haven't repurchased it, but it is Max Creme de Nude. And Max Creme de Nude is my absolute favourite nude lipstick. It's just the perfect nude colour. It looks amazing and it doesn't have that sort of orangey or um, beigey undertone like some drugstore lipsticks do. Like I find Revlon's Nude Attitude and or Nude Delight and Rimmel's Nude Attitude have that really orangey sort of undertone which can make your lips look a bit orange if you are a fairer complexion. But um, Max Creme de Nude is just the most gorgeous nude colour and I recommend it to anybody. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So starting off um, Carrying on from MAC, my first favourite um, nude is Max Hue lipstick and this isn't the most amazing lipstick that I've ever tried. I have heard quite a few things about Max Hue but it wasn't as amazing as what I thought it would be from all the hype um, that goes around about it. It's not my favourite but it is a really nice colour and it's basically just a nude. It does look a bit beigey. Um, but that's basically the colour. It is showing up pretty true to colour. It's a bit darker on camera and a bit more pinky. But it is a nice nude. It's not like creme de nude. It does have a bit of a beigey sort of orangey undertone. But it's still absolutely gorgeous. And I'll do a swatch for you on my hand. Show you guys what the colour looks like. So that's basically the colour there. It's just basically a, a light sort of, I would say peachy nude. It's not really... A true nude colour so that's my first favourite is Max Hue. My next favourite is Revlon's um, Primrose and this is in the number 668 and this is from their Super Lustrous collection and this is just basically a I would just say a nudie pink um, looks like this it's a really really pretty colour it's coming up a bit more sort of Barbie, brighter pink on camera, but it's just a really, really nice nudie pink and it looks amazing. These lipsticks are really moisturising as well. So that's Max Hue and then that's Revlon Primrose. Next off is, I'm just going kind of, I'm not going in any order, I'm just picking them up, but the next one is from Maybelline and this is from the Colour Sensational range. Um, I think this is the pearly, the pearl collection, um, but it's in 109 Rosy Dream, and I'm not usually a fan of like pearl lipsticks that give your lips that sort of pearl frosty kind of finish, but this one's really, really pretty. It's a perfect sort of light pink nude, and it looks like this, and it looks really similar to, um, Revlon's. Primrose on camera, but it's more of a just an, a normal pink sort of colour, and it's just more of a nude, which it'll show up on camera, on my hand as more of a nude colour. So that's the colour there, and it's just a really really pretty light pink. It has the slightest bit of shimmer, but it's really pretty. So another one that's one of my favourites is from Sports Girl, and if you live in Australia, Sports Girl is like a, a fashion clothing store. They sell jewellery there, they sell accessories, they sell makeup as well and this is just from, um, it's their Sports Girl Powder Batter Lip Colour and it's in the shade Beauty Queen and it looks like this, it's 
actually snapped off, <laughs> it's melted, but um, I know all these are looking like really similar on camera, but they do have a difference in person. You can see in the swatches that they're different, but this one is just basically um, a dark pink, a dark rosy pink, and it looks like this. And then this swatch is right, oh, okay, it just completely broke off. The thing about this lipstick, <laughs> hang on, I'll just get back there. So that is the colour there, and that's Beauty Queen from Sports Girl. You can see that there. It just got all over my hand because the thing about these lipsticks, and this is the main thing that I really liked about the Sports Girl lipsticks, was that um, they're just really, really moisturising. They're super creamy. They're the creamiest lipsticks that I've ever tried um, in my entire life. But that's also a downside because they do tend to go everywhere and melt. So that's that one. Um, next up I have, I'll do these next, um, Revlon Lip Butters. I have four. Um, I actually have five, I think, in my collection. But these are my absolute favourites. And these are all, actually I'll put these on the way because it's not really a nude or a pink. First one is in Creamsicle and this is in 065. And it just comes in like the orangey mandarin colour packaging. And the colour looks like this. And it's just basically a orangey nude. Um, I wouldn't even, yeah, a beigey orangey nude. And I'm going to put that here. So that's cremsical right there. If you can see, um, it's just like, I know the swatches aren't terrific, but you can see the colour. It's just basically a beigey nude. Looks really, really pretty. Um, the thing I don't like about this, this one is I find that it does tend, I know that they're lip butters, but I find that it does tend to make my lips sort of look a bit dry. Um, but I still really like it. The other one that's my favourite is in 055 Cupcake and it comes in this bubblegum pink packaging. And this is just basically a, a pink. This is like a bubblegum pink, a bright pink colour. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And the swatch of it is there under creamsicle and it's just basically a really really nice um pink it kind of looks a bit purple on camera but it's not really purple it does actually have a bit of a purple undertone to it so i really like that one and then the last one is in i picked up the wrong one this is in 060 gumdrop and this is kind of a pink it's more of like a purpley color but it does look nude on the lips and it looks like this. It look it is purple, which is quite scary, but it's really, really pretty um, on the lips. It's just a really nude colour. And that's the swatch there. Um, so that's Cremsicle there. That is Cupcake, and then that is Gumdrop. And it's just a really, really nice pink. And I've got stuff everywhere now, but it's really, really pretty. So that's that one. Um, last three lipsticks. The first one, I wasn't going to inc include this because I don't know whether you can still buy it or not, but it is from CoverGirl and it's, um, I think it's their True Lip Shine, True Shine lipstick in 400 and it comes in a silver packaging like that. And the colour, this is my favourite, favourite pink nude lipstick, um, but I don't know if they sell them anymore, so... If anyone knows whether they still sell the True Shine lipsticks, please let me know. But this is the colour of this one. It's just pretty much a really, really pretty um, nudie pink. It's a lot more lighter than the other ones. And it's really light, um, but that's the shade there. So it's just a really, really light pink, um, shimmery sort of lipstick. I absolutely love it. And I'm almost out of it. I've had this for ages and I've been trying to save it because I don't know whether you can still buy them. Last two. This one is one of my favourites. And the reason it's my favourite is because I believe it's like $3. It's from BYS if you're in Australia and you're familiar with this uh, brand. I think you get it at Target, Kmart and stuff like that. Um, but it's just their normal lipstick. The packaging is horrible, uh, but the colour is amazing. It's in the colour... Sassy Salmon, and it's basically just a bright pink or a dark pink. And these are super moisturizing, they last forever, they're really, really opaque, as you can see by the swatch. There it is, there. 
really, really opaque. They last forever. I definitely recommend if you live in Australia and you know of the brand BYS, go check out these lipsticks. They're just absolutely gorgeous and they're really good quality for the price. And then the last one is um, the Face of Australia Lip Quench SPF 30 lipstick in the shade Pink Champagne. These have shea butter and jojoba oil and they are absolutely gorgeous. I have another one um, in the shade Lychee Crush which is sort of a uh, apricot nude beigey sort of colour but this one is really really gorgeous and once again it's just basically a uh, a pink, a nude pink. It's sort of bright. It's coming up a lot brighter on camera, but that's the colour there. And I'll put the shade next to Sassy Salmon. So you can see the difference. That's Sassy Salmon from BYS, and then that is um, the Astralis lipstick, and it's just a really pretty nude colour. So that's basically it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know the swatches were terrific, but you could see the colour pretty well on my hand. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. I hope I gave, gave you guys some ideas if you're looking to find some new pink or new lipsticks that are affordable. Most of these are pretty affordable. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.